Hello guys, welcome to the next video on HTML tutorial for beginners using HTML5. In this video, we will see how we can add an image to our HTML page using IMG. And what are the various ways we can use IMG element in HTML. So let's get started. To add an image to your web page, you need an element called IMG and this mainly has two attribute one is alt and other is source so alt is just like a description for your image for example my sweet image and source is the location where your image is located so for uh, the location let's create a folder inside our web content folder so I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to name it as IMG and inside this IMG folder what I'm going to do is I have this image for HTML logo I'm going to drag and drop into this image folder right and just say copy file and click OK and it's going to place my image inside this image folder now to give the source path here I will just write img slash my image name so html dot png right so the name of my png file right so I will save my code and refresh the web page and I can see this html logo here on my web page right now there is one more attribute which we can use here is the size attribute right so you can give the width and height to your image something like this so there are two ways of giving width and height or to your image one is you just need to give width attribute and give the number of uh, pixel you want for example 600 pixel as a width and same for height for example 600 pixel for height okay save it and refresh the page and it will look like this okay the second way of uh, giving the width and height is using style attribute. So just uh, add a style attribute and then just add width here. And as a width, you just need to add 600 px and then semicolon and then the height and once again give 600 px. Okay, and it will result in the same way, right? So when you refresh the page, it will be same because uh, it was earlier 600 pixel for example I do it something like 400 by 400 and save the page refresh it as going to become 400 by 400 pixel image okay now you not only can uh, use the local images you can also use the images which are on some server for example you have some image on some website and you have the URL of the image you can directly add as a source of your image in here so for example I will just give the source of the image which I have on my website and I will save it and I will refresh it and it's going to show this image which is on the website now let's see how we can add a image with a link okay so to add an image with a link what you can need to do is you need to add a normal link tag and inside this link tag you just need to place your image something like this okay so your image tag and as a reference so href you can give the location of the file which you want to you know redirect to so for example i want to redirect to this uh, file 2.html inside my directory folder i can just locate something like this dir and then the file name file 2. Dot HTML and save it and refresh your web page and once you click this image you will go to the page which you are linked to so the HTML page which you are uh, you know 
targeting it will go there okay now let's see how we can add a background image to our HTML page so I'm going to remove all this and to add a background image there are two ways one is just give uh, in your body give a attribute called background and give the location of the image which you want to set as background for example I want to set this image itself as a background so I just write img slash html dot png and save it and refresh your web page and it's going to set this image as a background and if this image is of smaller size than your uh, you know web page size then it's going to repeat okay so it's going to repeat something like this to cover your web page okay the second way of adding this background image is using a style element so just add a style element and inside your style element you just need to write body and inside these curly braces you can add a attribute called background image and as a value you just need to give url and then inside the bracket you just need to give the location of your image so just copy the image from here and paste it here and I'm, I'm going to remove this attribute from here and save it and refresh your web page and it will be the same okay now suppose if you don't want to repeat this image you just want to show it once what you can do you can just add a attribute called background repeat and as a value you can give no repeat okay and save your web page and refresh it and it's going to look like this so it's not going to repeat okay now suppose you want to use your image with a paragraph so for example I'm going to add a paragraph tag here and I'm going to add some random paragraph here and I will save it and refresh it and my paragraph looks like this so my image and below this my paragraph but for example I want to uh, use this image beside a paragraph what I can do is I will just copy this image element and inside my paragraph tags I can add this uh, image element inside the paragraph element right so just inside the paragraph element I will add it now when I save it and I refresh it the paragraph will still remain on the bottom and not on the side of the image now to solve this problem what we can do is go to your image element and in here with the style you just need to add one more attribute called float and with float you can add float right or float left okay so for example for float right and save your code and refresh the page and now your image is on the right and your paragraph is on the left okay now if you uh, do just opposite of this for example float left and save it and refresh your web page now your image is on the left hand side and your paragraph is on the right hand side okay so in this way you can use image element in html i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye